Okay, let's move on, you guys. Um, I'm just going to select uh, the painting layer, the texture, and the shovel handle together by holding Control and then doing Control G just so we can have them grouped. Okay, and we are going to work on the handle part right here. So for this one, we are going to need the tiger texture, the tiger skin texture. But before we dive into that, let's select the AK layer. Now we can do both in one go, but it's always better to be accurate. So we're going to work on this part first and then this part. So guess what we're going to do? Lasso tool. Yes, exactly. You guys guessed it. So I'm going to hold alt and keep it, uh, keep it down. I'm just going to click right here slowly and very carefully select the top handle just like that. Come back here slowly and carefully. Select this part, and then once we're down here, we're safe. We can just do that. Then we can do uh, Control X, Control Shift V. This time, we are actually going to keep this on the top because we are we need it to um, to put the texture on it. So let us uh, first if let's hit Control J to make a copy of it, and then hide it, and then let's just throw it in here for backup. It's always a good good idea to do that stuff. So now we got this piece separate. Let's go into our folder. And we need the tiger texture. Where is it? It's right here. So we're going to grab that, throw it in here. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. Control minus. It's just too big. Let's do something like this. And then let's uh, hit Alt and snap it. Oh, before that, you got to hit Enter hit alt snap it cool it snapped into place uh now let's see we gotta kind of put it in a way that makes sense and there are two ways to do it we can do it this way or we can do it that way so it is completely up to you you guys can do it vertically or horizontally so well, i don't know it's up to you guys um Let's see, let's find something nice, like a decent halfway spot. Uh, that looks nice. Let's hit enter. And we are going to hit control T, but this time we're going to uh, right click on it and warp. Now what warp lets you do is actually warp the, um, the actual texture so that we can curve it. And uh, it's... It's a very subtle step, but see what happens is because this shape is curved, so when you kind of wrap the texture around it, it looks like it's curving back, like into the back of the gun. And it, it's a very subtle thing, but sometimes it makes a huge difference. And sometimes, like maybe in this case, it's not doing too much. You really can't see the effect, but it's always good to remember to do this uh, so you stay accurate, okay? Uh, so we got this right here. Um, let's hit E. Click on it one time. Now it's unlocked. Uh, let's make it into a yellow color because it's cur currently orangey. So we're going to do Control U. Um, excuse me, Control U. There you go. And let's play with it until it becomes a little bit yellowish. There you go. That's yellowish. I like that. Uh, we will worry, actually, we'll, let's do it right now. Let's do control L cause it's too bright. Let's bring the brightness a little bit down. Uh, maybe the whole thing just like that. See, there you go. Uh, somewhere about there looks cool and hit. Okay. Now this looks completely fake, plasticky, whatever. It, it just doesn't make sense. Now we are going to make it look like it actually belongs on the gun. So, first things first, we'll do a new layer on top of it. Hold Alt, snap it on top. Okay, let's do some shadow painting first. This is what's gonna bring stuff together. Okay, we got the black layer right here. First things first, let's do some contact shadows or a uh, ambient occlusion, just like that. You see, automatically it just curves the shape like inside see let's just do it like that real quick 
there you have it now if you look at the left and right edges it's starting to look like okay something is happening okay now next we need to bring the top surface back as if it's curving back so what we're going to do is we're just going to bring the brush a little bit bigger hold shift and kind of slowly just do that you can even make it a little bit bigger and just throw a few brushes in there and then for the bottom part same thing hold a little bit shift and just throw it in there there you have it now if we zoom out a little bit now it's more curvy it looks like it actually belongs on the gun but obviously it has no textures it's too clean we're gonna work on that next don't worry about it but for now I am going to hide the top layer and the bottom layer because if you see in the original design this is the black part right here you see it this is from the bottom of the actual handle so this needs to be black so I am going to uh, come to this layer hit the lasso tool and then I'm gonna hold alt and do a quick painting and I'm just gonna trace this edge right here just like that this edge slowly trace it and there you have it now with this selected let's bring back this layer and bring back this layer go back to the top one where we're painting the shadows hold B for brush uh, select the round brush and let's make this black because this has to be completely black control D to T select let's zoom out and now it's looking much more realistic okay you guys this is a very nice step right now we're almost there uh, let's bring in some dirt and some extra stuff so let's go to our folder uh, let's grab this texture let's see what this is going to do throw it here on top hold alt click and let's do a blending mode let's see what works multiply and lice multiply is very nice actually let's step through it let's go back a few more textures let's see okay this looks nice this looks nice uh, soft light is nice actually and kind of gives it like a weird color okay so we're, we'll remember soft light and what was the other one i believe it was multiply right okay but multiply makes it really 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 dark so if we want to use multiply uh we can just uh shift the, the lighting a little bit Control l and we can bring it a little bit lighter just like that not too much just a little bit there you go and then once that's done we can actually hit Control t and move the texture around just to see like where we can get more dirt what looks nicer we can even scale it down uh, from here it's a personal choice but the effect is there here I'm just gonna do it scale it down uh, do something like this maybe okay yeah, okay here I'm just gonna say this is going to be my uh, the way I want to lay it down let's zoom out it looks great now it's still very clean right you guys okay so what we're going to do is we're gonna click on the top layer hold shift click on the bottom layer group those so now it's one piece now I'm going to hit Control J to make a copy of it I'm gonna grab the original one always make a copy throw it somewhere safe now uh, with the original one right here let's make a new layer on top of it hold shift select both control E and now we have a layer that's ready to paint on I'm going to um, lock the transparency and now this looks very 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 clean and the problem is because of the stripes so what we're going to do is we're going to actually fix the stripes right now so uh let's see how can we destroy this well we can start bringing that yellow inside like and just like that start to destroy this texture here bam you know you can go real crazy with this don't worry too much you guys the more you destroy it the, the better it's gonna look honestly just start to break up those edges those clean straight edges you see this is what you need to break up and just like that here let's do some breakup 
sometimes it, sometimes overdoing it might be very uh obvious and just too too uh too strong so you can bring it back but the idea is let's just slowly and surely let's just break the edges see i just made a tour in the actual texture because after all the guy is using this part right it's being fired you know it's it's there's heat coming on it and the guy is holding it with his greasy hands and stuff so it can't be this clean that's why it doesn't look right anyways so i've done this part now we don't know it looks like crap when you were here but let's zoom out we're gonna hit Control one and look at it from far away hey, look at that you guys doesn't that look awesome now uh some parts like here they're just too obvious for me see this part is just too much so we can always come back and fix it and that's it just come back just like that maybe it's too much bring it back and make sure nothing stands out too much you want everything to blend everything to be you want the transitions to be very smooth so if something is showing like it's way too obvious it's too bright or it's too dark just come back in and fix it like you see this part there's something here that's just pulling my eye in there there's just there's too much light something's going on here let me zoom in this was the area why is it pulling my eye in there because this is too bright so we're just going to darken it just a little bit so it doesn't call for my attention okay zoom out again and there you have it from here we're gonna hit save and we are going to repeat the same process for the bottom part okay let's start working on the bottom part let's select the AK layer zoom in a little bit we're going to do the same process you guys L for the lasso hold alt let's come in carefully select this part right here keep going make sure your selections are nice and clean just like that control cut control shift V to paste just make a copy of it hide it store it somewhere and here is our piece let's bring the top handle actually let's put it in the bottom so we don't mess uh, mess up we don't lose control of it bring it to the bottom just like that now this is the part we're working on okay let's grab the texture again all right here bring the texture in enter alt snap control T I believe we oriented the yeah the texture horizontally or vertically sorry about that now let's bring it down now we need to make sure when we scale it that it matches the top uh, the top texture we don't want it to be too obvious that they're not um, the same size so you can do this you can even scale it from here a little bit okay I believe this looks good uh, let's see let's place it somewhere that looks nice uh, this looks cool I believe let's do E for eraser unlock it uh, control U just like the step before let's make it yellowish and there you have it uh, control L lighting levels a little bit darker cool about the 200 range I'm gonna hit OK let's do control T let's see if warping does anything special to it let's try and warp it yeah you see it starts to warp the corners like it's going down somehow or wrapping yeah there you go let's wrap it a little bit okay I'm gonna say that's fine let's create a new layer on top of it alt snap it to the top layer B for brush what are we doing next you guys should know by now and if you said contact shadows then good job you're paying attention my friend good job 
Uh, slowly but surely paint some contact shadows. Don't worry if it's too much. You can always paint on top of it again. So the whole idea is to be loose when you're painting. You don't want to be too scared. You know, you guys, the more scared you are from painting, then you're not going to get any results. So just, you know what? Actually, just go to, do this. Don't be scared, man. Don't be scared at all, actually. Let's curve this bottom part. There you go. Just like that. Let's curve a little bit that top part. Maybe it's too much. We'll bring the brush size a little bit down. Let's throw in some curvature on the top part. Looks cool. Yeah, see? Looks nice. Uh, we can grab the texture one more time from our folder. The dirt texture, obviously. This one. Grab it. Throw it. Hit enter. Snap it right here. And I believe we used multiply. Let's uh, let's change it around this time. Let's make it smaller too so it matches the other one. And let's look at it from far away. Let's see what happens. I like this idea right here. You see that little hole? Like it's kind of torn. Maybe we can keep that. Maybe not. Hmm. Personal preference, you guys. Personal preference. It's all about personal preference. I like this spot right here. This is why I'm going to keep it. You see this spot? I like that, so I'm going to keep it right there. Okay. Uh, let's do E to erase. Unlock the layer. Let's do levels because it's a little bit too dark. Now we want it to match this top layer. Easy. Just look at it until it kind of matches. This kind of looks okay. It's matching. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay. Now, let's select all four of these layers. One, two, three, four. Group them. There you go. That's the bottom handle. Control J. Back up. Hide it. Let's drag it. Throw it somewhere safe. Come back to the top layer. New layer. Shift. Select both. Control E. Now we are on one piece. Ready to paint. Lock the transparency. B. You can select a round brush or whatever other brush that you have. It really doesn't matter. You just need a brush so you can paint. And this time, let's just go and play a little bit more with this one. Make your brush smaller. Let's get this line out of here because it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to have a line there. you know. But it does make sense to have dirt just like that. And let's go and start destroying this baby. This one we can destroy even more. Why? Because if you pretend right now, just imagine you're holding an AK in your hand. This part is the one that's being used most. People don't hold an AK from the top part. They hold it from the bottom. I believe so. I'm not an, a gun expert, but I believe what I'm trying to say is that this part takes a lot more abuse. So it should be a lot more worn out. That's all I'm saying, you guys. I'm not an expert on weapons or whatever. I'm just trying to keep it real, you know, so it makes sense when you look at it. The more thought you put into the actual uh, painting process, the actual design process, painting process, the more the gun will make sense. You know what I'm saying. I hope that you do. Break it apart, break it apart, break it apart. Make sure everything is broken. Remember your lighting. If anything is popping out, make sure it doesn't pop out. Okay, let's grab this color here. Just like that. And break it a little bit more. Breaky, breaky, breaky. Breaky, just like that. Okay. Looks cool. Let's do something crazy right here. Just because we can. And we're not scared of painting. We can do this. Yes. Of course we can. Of course we can. Because we know what the hell we're doing. That's why we can. Yeah, and a nice crispy edge. And then let's do something like that. The more, the more you start 
playing with the brush strokes, the more confident you become. And then you're like, oh, I want to paint this. Oh, actually, if I do this, this will be nice. Anyways, you guys kind of get the idea. Let's work on these contact areas right here. Let's emphasize this contact area too. Like a real, we're real dark. And then right here, let's do a little bit more dark spots right here where the contact shadows. Fix it a little bit. Now, uh, just like that, we're getting there. V, selection tool, control one, zoom out, and voila. Look at that, you guys. This, I mean, this looks crazy good to me. There are some edges here that need some work. But we're about 90% done with this. I mean, see, you can come back and break it. Make sure everything blends nicely. Nothing is standing out. But there you have it, you guys. We're going to hit uh, V for the selection tool. We're going to select this part. Oh, actually, we don't need to select anything. We're just going to hit V, click, and save. Done. Next. Next.